On Thursday, November 21st, 2024, 50-year-old Carrie Dale Grayson made obscene hand gestures and swore at a prison warden before being executed for the gruesome murder of a hitchhiker 30 years ago. The microphone was immediately taken away after Grayson began his final words by saying, For you, you need to f*** off, according to witnesses, resulting in the rest of his statement going unheard. Alabama Corrections Commissioner John Hamm told reporters that Grayson had cursed out most of the employees that evening so they decided they weren't going to give him the opportunity to spew any more profanity. The curtain to the execution chamber opened just after 6 p.m. local time. Grayson raised both middle fingers as nitrogen gas began to enter his body via a breathing mask. Strapped to a gurney with a blue-rimmed gas mask on his face, Carrie Dale Grayson shook at times and took a series of gasping breaths. His heart was beating for around 10 minutes after the nitrogen began flowing. He was pronounced dead at 6.33 p.m. Grayson was one of four male teenagers convicted of killing Vicki W. as she hitchhiked from Tennessee to her mother's home in Louisiana in February of 1994. After offering her a ride, the four men took her to a wooded area and attacked her, returning later to mutilate her body. 37-year-old Vicki was attacked, beaten, and thrown off a cliff. Her mutilated body was found at the bottom of a bluff in Alabama. They left her face so fractured that she had to be identified by a previous X-ray of her spine. Alabama is the only U.S. state to have used nitrogen hypoxia to carry out a death sentence, but two others, Oklahoma and Mississippi, have also approved its use. Please like and subscribe for more.